Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder of CommitmentConnection.com. And in today's video, we're going to talk about how to love a man. Um, so if you don't understand how to love a man the right way, uh, he could end up, um, you, you could show him love and he won't even like experience it. He won't even realize that you're showing him love. And this is a, a huge problem that happens in a lot of relationships where, you know, a woman's like, I give you so much. And he's like, I don't, you know, you don't love me. And it, and it happens all the time. And, and so this is a very important topic. Um, and here's the key to this. You need to figure out how he wants to be loved. So, you know, the biggest mistake that we tend to make is to love others in the way that we want to be shown love. And we don't realize that they have their own, you know, they have their own preference of how they want to experience love from other people. And, um, you know, and so what you need to do is you need to find out how he wants to be shown love. And, and there's a very simple way to find this out, and, and it's this. He'll usually show you love in the way that he wants to be shown love. Okay? And so that's very simple, and uh, let me explain a little bit more about this so you know what to look for. So... Um, there's, there's multiple types of love. There's actually a book that was written on this. It was called, uh, uh, F the five love languages. And I think it's by Gary Chapman. And, um, there's really, uh, w what he talks about in his book is that there's five different ways, um, that people show love and, and, uh, he calls them languages. And so here's the different, here's the five different ones. The first one's physical touch and physical touch is like, you know, giving massages, having sex, you know, all that kind of stuff. Like any, any type of physical touch, back rubs, you know, um, you know, touching on the arm or, you know, gently stroking somebody, uh, that's physical touch. Right, and that's that's one of the love language. the The next one is called receiving gifts, right? And and so typically, if somebody likes to receive gifts, they'll give a lot of gifts to other people. Um, and if they don't receive a gift, they don't feel like they're being loved. Um, and the third way is called acts of service, and that's um, basically doing things for another person. So, it could be mowing the lawn, it could be fixing something, it could be um, you know, uh, working on s something for somebody, um, you know, that's a typical guy thing that a lot of guys like to do is, is acts of service. And, and, uh, um, so that, that's another way to show love. Uh, another one is quality time. And that's like wanting to get one-on-one -on -one with somebody, you know, everything else off and just, you know, connecting with them one-on-one -on -one and just talking to them. Um, uh, that's the fourth type of uh, love language. And then the last one is called words of affirmation. And that's just, you know, compliments and stuff, you know, telling somebody that you love them, telling somebody, uh, you know, how amazing they are and beautiful and all that kind of stuff. And so those are the five love languages, physical touch, receiving gifts, acts of service, quality time, words of affirmation. And so what you, what you want to do here is you want to find out what he tries to do for you or he tries to do for other people. If you notice him giving gifts all the time, if you notice that he'll come over and like rub a person's shoulders and pat them and, you know, touch them, you know, if, if you see that he's, he's always trying to do something for somebody, you know, like mow their lawn or fix something that they have going on with them or help them out with, you know, some type of chore that they have. Um, if you notice that he tries to get somebody, you know, one-on-one -on -one for, you know, solid quality time together, you know, walking in the park or, you know, whatever. Um, or if you notice that he's comp constantly complimenting people that he really likes. You know, they, these are the different types of um, languages of love. And you need to figure out which one he does for other people the most often and that will give you a key indication of uh, what he wants and so what you need to do is start with what he does for you most often and start doing that for him and a lot of times a relationship can get turned around immediately just by showing a man the type of love that he wants to be shown 
So that's it for this video. If you want more information on how to attract Mr. Right into a committed, lasting relationship, make sure you go to my website at commitmentconnection.com and take my quiz. I'm Matthew Coast, and I'll speak with you again soon.